Every bit matters. We have to keep the hopes and the spirits up of individuals who are in this very difficult circumstance. We want them to know we're, we're thinking of them and we care about them. We also want them to know we're grateful and we understand that they're in this situation uh, because of others and not because of themselves. I think this is um, one of the worst examples of government and it has been hard and it is stressful. You know, some federal workers are required to work for free right now and some are not required to work. And so the city is also stepping up to fill in some of the roles that the Forest Service would normally be doing. We don't want pollution in our watershed, those types of things. So this is hard for everybody. It's heartbreaking. It's certainly not how you build a community or build a city or build a country. Uh, all this divisiveness needs to end and we need to get to some solutions that really matter and will work. We have different uh, agencies and departments stepping up to help provide food and as a city we're figuring out a potential loan program where uh, employees could apply for a no interest rate loan from the city to help them keep their bills paid and stay in their homes. The city uh, will continue to keep trying to help as much as possible because we count on the team here to be a partner of ours and we want to make sure that our, our partners are being taken care of. We all have that spirit of collaboration and coming together uh, when we really need to and you're seeing that happen here. It is the Utah way and I'm very proud of that. As a community, we will continue to show up for you to help you through this.